What you're seeing is a black hole, the mass of the sun, standing very close to Earth. Don't worry, that's just for comparison. But wait, why does this monstrous entity look no bigger than a small town? And yet, it packs the mass of our solar system's central star. First off, the reason this black hole seems so minuscule is all about density. Imagine taking the sun, over a million times the size of Earth, and compressing it into a sphere just a few kilometers across. That's the power of gravity gone wild, crushing mass into a space so small, light itself can't escape. This process doesn't add or remove mass, it just packs it into an incredibly tiny point, known as a singularity, surrounded by an invisible boundary called the event horizon. Now, you might be thinking, wouldn't Earth just get swallowed up by this dense, dark neighbor? Well, despite its fearsome reputation and gravitational pull, a black hole, the mass of the sun, wouldn't actually suck Earth or alter our orbit. Gravity depends on mass and distance, not the volume of an object. So as long as we keep our distance, Earth would continue to orbit the black hole as it does the sun today, minus the light and warmth, of course. But living in darkness is the least of our worries. Without the sun's light and heat, Earth would quickly become a frozen wasteland, challenging the very survival of life as we know it. If our sun turned into a black hole tomorrow, which it won't, don't worry, it wouldn't start gobbling up the solar system. Remember, the gravitational pull of a black hole depends on its mass. Since our hypothetical black hole has the same mass as the sun, just packed into a tiny space, the planets, including Earth, would continue orbiting as usual. So while black holes might seem like cosmic vacuum cleaners, they're more like cosmic magicians, hiding in plain sight, bending the laws of physics, and challenging our understanding of the universe. But don't get too comfortable with the idea. While our orbit might remain unchanged, our living conditions certainly wouldn't. The instant disappearance of sunlight would plunge Earth into darkness, temperatures would drop dramatically, and within a week, we'd be living on an ice-covered planet, grappling with the beginning of a long, cold nightmare. Photosynthesis would halt, disrupting the food chain from its very foundation. The most immediate effect would be on plants, and quickly following the animals and humans dependent on them. Our once vibrant Earth would turn into a frozen dark ball, drifting through space. And for anyone thinking, I've always wanted a white Christmas, imagine one that lasts all year long without the cozy warmth of the sun to follow. Not so appealing now, is it? In this new, sunless world, humanity would face its greatest challenge. Surviving in perpetual darkness and freezing temperatures would push us to adapt in ways we've never before imagined. From seeking refuge in the planet's few remaining warm spots, to possibly venturing underground or underwater, where Earth's geothermal energy could offer a glimmer of hope. But let's not unpack our thermal suits just yet. This scenario, while fascinating, remains purely hypothetical. Our sun doesn't have the mass required to become a black hole. Not now, not ever. So for now, we're safe from the cosmic cold front. As we orbit safely in our current path around our hypothetical black hole, you might wonder, what if Earth got a bit too curious and ventured closer? Well, that's when gravity starts playing some of its more peculiar tricks. First up, tidal forces. These are the differences in gravitational pull felt by one side of the object compared to the other. On Earth, they're responsible for the tides in our oceans, thanks to the moon. But near a black hole, these forces become extreme. The side of the Earth closer to the black hole would feel a stronger pull than the side further away, stretching the planet and everything on it. This stretching effect, lovingly known as spaghettification, might sound like a bizarre Italian cuisine experiment gone wrong, but it's a real scientific phenomenon, and not one you'd want to experience firsthand. Imagine being pulled into a noodle shape. Definitely not my idea of a good time. On a global scale, these tidal forces could tear apart mountains, oceans, and even the atmosphere itself before finally pulling Earth into the black hole, where it would be compacted into the singularity. A fascinating, if somewhat grim, end to our planet. But fear not, our planet remains safely in its orbit. This exploration into the extremes of gravity helps us appreciate the delicate balance that allows life to flourish on Earth. Another mind-bending effect of being near a black hole is time dilation. Thanks to Einstein's theory of relativity, we know that time moves slower in stronger gravitational fields. So if you were close to our hypothetical black hole, time would crawl compared to someone further away. 
Watching your favorite hour-long TV show could take, well, let's just say you need to pack a lot of snacks. But of course, that's relative to someone else watching us from afar. While these effects are mesmerizing to ponder, they also highlight the incredible forces at play in our universe. Forces that, for now, remain a safe distance from our blue marble. Now, facing the hypothetical black hole from a safe orbit, one wonders, how can we study this enigmatic neighbor without stepping into its shadowy grasp? Black holes, by their very nature, don't emit light, but they do affect their surroundings in ways that we can observe. One method is by looking at how light from stars behind the black hole bends around it, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. This cosmic quirk not only reveals the presence of a black hole, but can also help us map its gravitational field. Then there's the idea of sending probes near the black hole. Equipped with the latest sensors, these probes could study the black hole's accretion disk, the ring of of gas, dust, and debris swirling around it at incredible speeds. This material heats up as it falls into the black hole, emitting x-rays and other forms of radiation we can detect and study from a distance. Some black holes also shoot out powerful jets of particles at nearly the speed of light, a spectacle we can observe across vast cosmic distances. These jets, while dangerous up close, provide crucial clues about the mechanisms at work in the heart of a black hole and the extreme conditions within. The pursuit of understanding a black hole isn't just a thrilling adventure into the unknown. It's a journey that can shed light on the fundamental laws of physics. Black holes challenge our perception, testing theories of gravity, time, and the very fabric of the universe. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more space adventures. Also, share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. What cosmic phenomenon should we explore next? Thanks so much for watching.